COVID-19 has prompted a hot year for U.S. real estate, and we've seen buying and selling sprees from coast to coast. And the emergence of what people are calling Zoom towns as remote workers flooded new cities. As we approach the fall, though, the market could cool off, and as it usually does. But the ongoing pandemic may continue to buck real estate trends. Joining us right now with what he's expecting from the market is Robert Refkin. He's co-founder and CEO of online real estate brokerage firm Compass. Compass did, Compass did just report its quarterly results the first time as a public company since its IPO. And the stock, I should mention, is down about 19 percent. Robert, it's good to see you this morning. Uh, help us understand what you're seeing in the markets right now. Uh, typically, the fall does cool off a bit. Uh, hard to know, though, with the reemergence of Delta, whether you think that's actually going to ignite more sales. But on the other side, as you were hearing from Steve Leisman, I think there could be pressure on rates. So how do you see it? Well, look, the, the mortgage rates, uh, 30-year fix is 2.87% on average for July. That's lower than the second quarter average. It's lower than the first half year average, lower than last year's average. So by all measures, the, the interest rates are, are very low right now and expected to continue for at least you know, the rest of this year and next. Uh, in terms of buyer demand, we had five buyers on average for every home that was had an accepted offer last quarter. So there are four more buyers in the market, and that's not including the incredible pent-up demand from the international buyer. In markets like uh, California, Florida, uh, New York, where international buyers have not been able to come to the U.S. for over a year. There's incredible pent-up demand from places like Canada, Asia, Europe, Latin America. And uh, we have had over the last few weeks, more companies come out and say that hybrid work will be here in the fall and beyond. And that is forcing everyone to reevaluate their primary and second home needs to make sure that they meet their hybrid work lifestyle. And so for all those reasons, we're very positive about the rest of this year uh, and beyond. And we're actually even seeing an uptick in in-contract listings relative to some of the weekly lows in June and July, where you had graduations and family vacations slowing things down a bit. Robert, you would say that uh, pent-up demand from uh, some of these international buyers uh, may, may emerge or, or, or is there, but if they can't come here yet, how, how is that working itself out? Yeah, I mean, it's, we're, the demand will have to wait until uh, things do open up, but they will eventually. And when that happens, you know, our agents are, are you know, they, they have clients in those markets and they are telling us that the demand is very real and significant. Robert, I want to know what's going on in New York City real estate. I've got a vested interest. I'm going to disclose that. Um, but I'm, I'm curious, you know, if you had, let's say, $2 million to spend right now, would you put it into New York City real estate or would you put it into some of the outlying areas that saw a, a boom, places where there were bidding wars for houses, the Westchester or Connecticut, for instance? Yeah, look, we're seeing many buyers who bought in Florida or bought in Connecticut or you know, Westchester moving back to New York. People remembering you know, what they loved about New York, that energy of Central Park, the energy of the restaurants. Uh, and, and so we are, we are definitely seeing bidding wars come back. And, and this time last year, there were, there, were, there were not bidding wars in New York City. And so I would feel confident about buying in New York at this time. We're particularly seeing a lot of activity in the super high end. So take penthouses, townhouses where you have more space. Uh, we're seeing some records there. And Compass just sold the most expensive home in downtown New York uh, that was listed. And, and so we're, we're seeing a, a lot of activity and expect to continue to.